I'm now going to talk about how to go about making a reward chart because actually setting up a reward scheme like this is a real art. It's not, it is simple but there are a few rules that you'll find helpful to follow to get the best out of these with your child. They really, really can work. And it's not just enough to give a few stars to a child who's done well. Sometimes that works, but sometimes a little more is required, something a little bit more complex and something that's going to take in more than one type of behaviour at a time. So the first thing is to think about what is the behaviour that you want to change? For example, it might be going up to bed when asked. First of all, for that, you would need to set up a bedtime routine. As we've already talked about routines, this means setting up the, a regular pattern, for example, of having supper, then some playtime, then, of course, it's important that your child knows that they're going to go to bed after a certain time. So it's useful then to give your child a, a warning, say 10 minutes that in advance that going to bed time is going to happen within 10 minutes. And even if your child can't tell the time, maybe you might have some little kitchen timer or some other thing that can mark the end of the time period, finishing the game perhaps. Your child needs to know that at he or she goes up to bed at the time that you have said, right now it's bedtime, that a reward is going to follow. And this might well be a sticker on a chart. In my chart I've got a smiley face here that you can put on. Then go through all the other parts of the routine that your child has to go through to get into bed in whatever ever, ever order you want, but undressing, washing, cleaning teeth. And at the end of that, another reward is, is, is due. So a, another smiley face can go on the chart. In fact, on our chart here, we've got a separate sticker for starts to go to bed, gets undressed, gets washed, brushes teeth and gets into bed. And that's probably the best place to start. When all these parts of the routine are in place, you might only need a sticker just for getting into bed and having done all the things needed to be done beforehand. But that might be a little way along the line. Now, charts need to be made very interesting because they soon get boring for children. One of the ways that you can make it interesting and one of the ways that you can move more quickly towards just having one behaviour instead of breaking it all down to get a sticker is by having a special super duper bumper sticker. So if on our chart here for Wednesday you can see that our child has done all the things that he or she was meant to do, went to bed, got undressed, washed, brushed teeth, got into bed, all on the same night and so Hey, got the bumper special sticker. You're going to need to bring the changes to make it more interesting. After a while, a chart like this might get boring. But you can make a train and put smiley faces as the passengers in the train. Or a rocket. Or anything else that your child might be interested in. Balloons. There are all sorts of different ways. Making different colours. Make it lots of fun, turn it into part of a, of a game so that your child can use his own chart as a special picture or a special game and have lots of fun with it afterwards so that the whole thing is valued by your child.